here we are coming up from uh, Barrett Lakes to Chastain Road, uh, going to my friend's house or apartment, Poplar Place. Coming up on uh, Kennesaw State University, which is uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, it was founded in, I believe, 1960, I don't know the number, but it was founded in the 60s. Uh, pretty good little university, definitely expanding and growing. Uh, I think it's one of the most rapidly growing colleges in uh, Georgia at the time, if not the. We have Waffle House, can't really make out the sign, but if you're from the south or you're from Georgia, you know what Waffle House is all about. Good restaurant cheap prices, guaranteed good time, um, riding in my Ford Escort, uh, just got rear-ended, sucks pretty bad, <gasps> my gas is running kind of low, you know, and I don't know if anyone's like me, I say anyone as though anyone gives a fuck and or is going to watch this, but... I think that when gas is empty, it's a lot of times, you know, plays into your mood. It's really symbolic of empty things. Hey, there's a Shell gas station here. Here we are on the Waffle House. Good, good, good. It's kind of like Huddle House. A little trashier and a little cheaper, but one of the most inbred joints in the South. Here we are on Kennesaw State University. Um, I don't want to record this guy. Kennesaw State University, big college. We live in a college town. <laughs> college. You know, just the college life. Uh, frat, fraternities, sor sororities. You know, just typical college fun. I think, uh, you know, I think the kids have a good time out there. Unfortunately, I've never really been invited to be a part of it or had the grades or smarts to be a part of an establishment like that. But nonetheless... I consider it a great venture for those that go through with it. Um, I'm being tailgated right now. And, you know, if I have to, I will get out of this car and beat the living fucking shit out of whichever cunt uh, <clears throat> feels it necessary to treat me like that. Kennesaw State University, right there. It's a good university. I believe that those are the dorms. In fact, I know that that's the door. I'm sorry for the vibrations. My car really sucks. Never get an American car. Let me tell you why. The engine mounts are too small. And it will cause a lot of vibrations. Hey, that's uh, 75 right there passing over. Uh, it runs all the way to Michigan. And this is just its brief, you know, stop and can I... <laughs> Woo! This is my mind help, um, oh, almost rear-ended this guy, woo, you better stop behind me, you fucks, it's kind of like a flashback to what the hell happened, uh, on the freeway a couple nights ago to me, okay, what the fuck is going on, is this traffic, I got a good vantage point, um, looks right now, oh, and the truck is going. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt the tour. Now we're turning on to Busby. Uh, this strip of road is, you know, it's just, it's it's a place where there's a lot of, you know, college fun that goes on. It's a lot of apartments. You're either low class as fuck and living in an apartment like myself, or you're college uh, material and you're getting some sort of funding to live here. Or I guess you could work for it. The greenhouse apartment's a notorious shithole. Uh, a lot of drugs, a lot of robberies, you know, Kennesaw crime. It's a pretty, pretty dangerous area, Kennesaw, Georgia. You never know. Oh, we're pulling in to Poplar Place. My friend lives here. This turn really sucks here. And I'd like to point out that my uncle lived in Poplar Place circa 1994 when he moved to Georgia from Michigan. Poplar Place. My camera really sucks. It's like too high def. Here comes a stolen van, I'm sure. Oh, this car is way too uh, good for this type of parking lot. Now, 
these apartments probably were made in the late 80s to early 90s. I would guess more towards the late 80s. Uh, they've been renovated since. Uh, a lot of good things happening. New management. Uh, good changes. Changes for the best. Changes for the tenant. Uh, it's a safe place to live. You know, it's better than the alternatives around here. Uh, you know, I'm not complaining. I don't live here. If I could afford it, I would. I'm not saying I wouldn't. Um, let me turn me out. Let me turn my car off. I love the noise that this makes when I play a video back. It's just like, all right, let me get out. I know I'm gonna like that noise when I listen to this back on a speaker. All right. I bought some boxers today. You can't see him. So let's go see what my little twink friend is doing. We're going to his work party. He's got one. He gets one guest and he invited me because he likes me. I th think there's gonna be a pretty vast selection of finger foods, so that'll be pretty cool. <coughs> oh, fragile flame. Here we are, apartment. I'll tell you what my friend can wail on the base. He's going to be all dressed up for this party because he wants his work friends to think he's cool, probably. Let's see if he answers. We'll just go in. God bless it. I'm on video? Yeah, are on video. Oh, boy. I recorded all the way here. I gave a good little... uh Damn, dude, you lost everything in the divorce. <laughs> oh, man, I don't want to be here anymore. Tyler's roommate moved out, and, well, we see what happened here. Can I move into your, this room right here? No, nah, don't, don't give me that. Did she have the master bed? Dude, are you going to take this room? No. Why? What's wrong with you? You have, like, three things. I'll help you move it. For you, for the sake of your happiness, I will help you move it. Okay. Smoke syrup. Turn that fucking thing off. No, Tyler got beat up the other night. Shut up. I'm gonna. I'm taking a bunch of videos of like me just driving around because I feel like in 20 years it'll be cool to look at. Be like, remember Bear Parkway? Look at it now. When were these apartments made? Late 80s, probably? I take videos because I think everyone's going to die and I want to watch them when they die.